When you think of Bremont, you will probably have a Martin Baker model come to mind, which represents Bremont's partnership with Martin Baker, like the MB2, for example. If you aren't familiar with Martin Baker, they are the world's leading manufacturer of ejection seats. And if you do happen to eject from an airplane and survive, Bremont will give you an MB1, which has a special red center barrel. Today, we have a new and fascinating piece in the MB series, which is the MB Savannah. Like everything in the MB series, Bremont actually tested one of these pieces in a live ejection, MFOS crashworthy testing at extreme temperatures, extreme vibration, and at high altitudes, and on an aircraft carrier deck. This piece actually has some new attributes to it over the other MB pieces, so stay tuned. The question here will be though, is this just a different color version of the MB2? Or is this a true upgrade over the original formula? Let's find out. What's up everyone, it's Chris with the Little Treasury Channel. Welcome back. This is where we bring you original and in-depth watch content at least once per week. If you haven't already, please make sure to hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell to be alerted as soon as we upload. I'm from Little Treasury Jewelers, which is located in Gambrels, Maryland. And it's where you go when you're in the know. As always, the watches that I review are for sale and can be purchased, so please see the description below to contact us. If you're just joining us now, I'll go over the watch's detailed measurements and features, and then I'll offer my personal opinion at the end. In our last video, I reviewed the Mula Glashuta Saw Rescue Timer, which is the flagship piece from Mula Glashuta, and it is a very unique and clean tool watch offering. I highly recommend checking this one out if you are in need of a purpose-built tool watch with no frills and a fascinating design. Wrist check time. Today I'm wearing my Bremont Descent Limited Edition. Mine is the last one ever made at number 407 out of 407. It feels a lot like a little tank on my wrist, and I enjoy wearing it. Now tell me which watch you're wearing while you're watching the video and make sure to tell me why. Now let's get on to the features. The Bremont MB Savannah has a 42.5 millimeter case width, a 14.6 millimeter thickness, a 49.9 millimeter lug to lug, a 21.9 millimeter lug width, a 35.6 millimeter crystal diameter, and weighs in at 92.92 grams. The case is a three piece design, which Bremont calls the triptych and is made out of grade five titanium that has a protective tactical coating, which is sand colored and matte finished. The center barrel is anthracite colored and made out of knurled aluminum. It has two knurled non-screw down crowns, one at the two position for setting the time with the Bremont propeller logo and the other at the four position with a circle on it for setting the bi-directional inner rotating bezel. The inner rotating bezel uses Bremont's Roto-Click technology, which lets the bezel rotate and glide on a series of four ball bearings, which is meant to give it excellent accuracy durability, and clearly defined clicks for every minute. The crystal is domed and protrudes above the case. It has nine layers of anti-reflective coating applied on each side. The dial is in what Bremont calls a savanna color, which is a sandy gray. The chapter ring is the inner rotating bezel for timing and is a similar color to the dial with black minute ticks, a red triangle at the 12, and a sand colored Arabic numeral at each five minute position. The dial has Arabic numerals as the markers in white with a white rectangle above each. A minute grade can be found between each indice in black with simple tick marks. Bremont can be found at the top middle portion painted on the dial in black with the propeller logo beneath and a red and white triangle, which is the Martin Baker logo beneath that. The hour hand is sword style and finished in a matte gray. And the minute hand is more pencil style, which is also gray. The second hand is fascinating and has an ejection seat style yellow checkered pull cord at the rear and red lollipop at the tip. It is also coated in gray. The date window is cut into the dial and has a gray background with sand tone numerals. The anti-shock logo with red, anti-shock and automatic can be found at the bottom middle portion of the dial in black. Loom can be found only on the hour, minute, and second hands, and has about 20 layers of super luminova applied. The case back is open and shows off Bremont's skeletonized rotor with stepped windows and branding. It uses Bremont's BE-36AE movement, which is an ETA 2836-2 base that has 26 joules, beats at 28,800 beats per hour, has a 38 hour power reserve, and is chronometer certified to be between losing four and gaining six seconds per day. It is modified with a glucy dur balance, anacron balance spring, and gets increased shock resistance from a modified automatic winding bridge. 
To give this an ejectable level of shock resistance though, it is housed in a rubberized movement mount. A flexible ring connects this mount to the outer case and absorbs the shocks while allowing the inner case and movement to float freely. The strap has curved ends and is made out of rubber in a sand color. It has the Braemont propeller on the end keeper and a simple steel Braemont labeled pin buckle made of extra hardened steel. The Braemont MB Savannah is 100 meter water resistant and is ready to fly with you on your desert adventure for $5,795. Now for my personal opinion. I think that this is a very unique piece and it's actually really cool. The finish on this case and the color just makes me feel like I'm supposed to be driving a tank around the desert somewhere. I really enjoy the look of this one and if you have ever tried a Braemont one, you know how comfortable this triptych case actually is. It looks great on my six and a half inch wrist and I have no problem with it here. It isn't too thick either. The best part about this piece is that it is titanium and that is an upgrade for the MB series. It's super light just like my Grand Seiko Snowflake. I will say that the strap looks fantastic, but it isn't wonderful to me right away at least because it really needs some serious breaking in. I think that Braemont should take the time to make a titanium coated strap to match this case to really knock this one out of the park. But Braemont has traditionally been about straps versus bracelets. This is a great tool watch that can be a great companion on trips and adventures, but it also looks great with your casual wear. It isn't dressy, but why should it be? It is meant to be slog through the desert Mad Max style. I'll recommend this one to anyone who would like a tough, attractive, and unusual tool watch and perhaps are ready to add their first Braemont to their collection. Thanks for watching today, everyone. I really hope that you enjoyed the video. And of course, if you did, please make sure to hit that subscribe button, give this video a like, and share with all of your friends and your family members too. I look forward to seeing you next video.